Hello guys, my name is Nagato and for today's tutorial, I'll be basically showing y'all guys how to dump or back up your uh, games off your PlayStation Vita cartridge. You guys may be asking yourselves, why is this even useful? Um, why not just, just, you know, play the game from the actual Vita cartridge? Well, I had two scenarios that I thought, you know, may be applicable for other users out there, such as... Um, let's say if you wanted to give a game to a friend, like for example, I bought this game off of eBay and there was never a digital download for this game. So let's say if I wanted to loan it to a friend or I just want to resell the game, but I still want to keep my dump file to it on my memory card. That's a method that you could do using my tutorial. Um, another reason is let's say you wanted to implement SD to Vita to get more uh, space onto your Vita because you know anybody that uh, owned a PlayStation Vita before knows how ridiculous the cards are or the memory cards cost for the system. Like I think I saw on eBay or Amazon that like the 64 gigabyte runs to almost like 80 to $100 in some places. So most people with uh, modded PlayStation Vitas or TVs uh, use the SD to Vita uh, adapter or, or like for the PS TV they use USBs but for people who own like the Vita 1000s and most likely they don't have the 3G model and some people don't just want to open up the system to implement SD to Vita from that method they just get the cartridge adapter or the SD to Vita adapter that basically takes in place of where the video game cards are supposed to go for the PlayStation Vita. So this method will basically, if you do have SD to Vita um, and you still want to play your backup games and you know, you can't play physical since that space is already taken up due to the adapter. That's why this method, um, you know, could be for people that like to collect physical games that may not have downloaded the content from it, or it's not like a downloadable PSN game. So that's one of the reasons I thought of. Um, but with that being said, uh, I'm going to get straight into the prerequisites like I like to stay in all my videos. So things you need is a PlayStation Vita or a PlayStation TV running Henkaku, Henkaku Enzo, or H Encore. Those are like the three top main methods I know people use it now. I know some developers use stuff back on like 3.55 and with like dev kits. But for the main majority of people that are trying to do this... Um, just stick to, or you could basically get it between the firmware is from 3.60 to 3.68. And so once you have that, you know, all verified, um, there's two apps where we're going to look at today and that's a Vita shell and auto plugin. Well, Vita shell is mandatory for this process and also auto plugin is not necessarily mandatory. Um, the reason why we're going to use auto plugin is to get the plugin called no NPDRM. And basically, uh, if y'all guys already been dumping games or been using backups from, you know, wherever you probably already have no NPDRM installed. If you don't have no NPDRM installed, I recommend doing it through the auto plugin way, which is much faster and easier due to, cause I remember back in like 2016 and the early, uh, days in the scene, where you would manually have to transfer over uh, the plugins and make a config TXT in the tie folders, either in UR0 or UX0. So that took some time, and sometimes it didn't, you know, if you type in the wrong line and all that crazy stuff. But that's why I like auto plugin. It's a fast, very fast method. All you do is just click X on whatever plugin you want, you select it, and you restart your Vita. So that's what we're going to start with first in the first step of the process. So. If you got all those prerequisites um, and you could just follow along in the video and I'm basically going to go step by step on how like, you know, the from the start and finish to this process. So the first thing you want to do is go and if you don't have Vita Shell and Auto Plugin, uh, either USB or FTP over uh, the two files and all the downloads and programs I'm using will be in the uh, video description. Um, if you're trying to do this uh, via FTP, use FileZilla. If not, um, just use your USB using Vita Shell. But once you have an auto plugin installed, for those who may not have it or just still want to follow along with the video, make sure it's the latest version, version 3.83. Um, once it boots up, um, by the way, this is made by the Hero GAC. So he 
basically did the whole development for this program so shout out goes to him but anyways uh first thing you want to do is go to plugins for vita click that and then install plugins so either you can install plugins from uux0 or ur0 whatever preference you want i usually put my stuff in ur0 sometimes and other places not you want to click where it says no npdrm by the flow and from there once you click x I'm not going to do it but since I already have it set up and I don't want to like restart my Vita because sometimes it messes up with uh, displaying via OBS what I'm running now. But once you do that, no MPDRM, it should tell you to restart your Vita. If it doesn't re tell you to restart your Vita, um, just go ahead and power it down and then re-power it back up by using the power button. So once you got that installed and let's say you back on your live area, now you want to go and do this step. Whatever uh, card game you already have installed or whatever from your cartridge, make sure the cartridge is in. Like you see near my time, um, the cartridge is clearly in this uh, blue icon. Go ahead and click on it. So once you click on your game, let it boot up basically maybe to like the main menu or to the loading screen, which I'll do now. And the reason why we we're doing that is so basically the no MPDRM uh, plugin could make a fake license to the game because inside the cartridge, like every Vita cartridge has a um, uh, something called a riff, and basically it's just a license to the game that makes sure you know it's properly yours and stuff. What no MPDRM is doing is taking a f making a fake license so it could be used for any Vita or any PlayStation TV. So. Once you got your game menu basically popped up and you're in the main screen, you could go ahead and back out. And now what you want to do is go to Vita Show. Now, first things first, you want to go to the very first option is GR, O, and then zero. Once you have that, go ahead and click X. And this is basically your cartridge. And the way you could tell if you go over or go into app and then press triangle over your game, and open the crib the way you could tell if it's the, your cartridge game you can either just tell from the picture an icon zero png or the pick zero png right here or from what i like to do if you may not know what game it is um it will tell you where it says title uh right here and it will tell you the game name or, or the title name of your game now this process is pretty much easy if you just want to have a backup copy. So what you need to do is go into app and then copy. And then what you want to go to now is UX0 and then go into app and then just paste. So once your Vita is doing all that stuff, it may take a little while for me to um basically the stuff to copy over, but since I'm just going to go through this whole tutorial. I'm going to switch over to my play or not my PlayStation, but to the PC to show you more about what would the contents look like. So give me one second. All right. So we back on the PC. Once you guys are back on from the PC, I've already dumped the game via uh, FTP and USB. So this is the game that we basically just copying over to app right now. So from here, there are a couple of directories we're gonna focus on this video. And also here's the license that I was talking about earlier. This is the um, real license from the cartridge, but um, it's supposed to be a riff, but I renamed it as a work bin. And I'll show you what I mean in a few. So if I go, I'll show you a quick example real, real quick. All right. All right. If I go to my app. So yeah, for example, here is a game. And it may not actually have this. Yeah. I actually, hold on. Because what basically, I'll show you an easy way. Basically what the license is supposed to look like for a real license is like a bunch of like random numbers and uh, codes. And it's like spelled as a riff. So maybe like something like this. I didn't know have like riff. At the end of it and that's basically the license that the cartridge has so what really what you do once you have that uh, actual riff and I'll show more about it once I get back to the Vita but I'm just giving out an example the riff will look something like this what you need to do when you're uh, 
have your roof either extracted out to your PC or in the Vita app, which I'll show you how to do it from Vita Shell. It's just to rename it to work.bin. So once you rename whatever your uh, riff name and just rename it to work.bin, you want to press Control C or just copy it this way. And then you want to go into the game directory and then you want to go to SCE underscore system. And then from there, you'll see contents like trophy, package, the manual, live area. You can't see these pictures or anything or the param data I think you could view the param data as a phone but you can't see these uh, the pictures and stuff because it's encrypted at the moment but once you like I already made the workbench but once you already got that done you want to go ahead over to package and then you want to go ahead and click paste so once you click paste and then transfer that game right back over either from via USB right back into app you want to basically just from there go ahead and go back to the main menu of Vita Show and then reload your live screen. And I'll show you like all that in detail soon. Um, right now we're at 72% and the game is not too big in uh, size wise. It's like thinking about like a gig or something. Uh, and it will vary for what game. So like if you had a game cartridge of like um, World of Final Fantasy, for example, I think, or like, yeah, Final Fantasy X, I think that thing is like four gigabytes. It may take longer depending on which game to vary. I don't have any, uh, basically any cartridges that were under like, you know, the one gigabyte realm of stuff or like 100 megabytes or whatever. So I do apologize for, you know, this video may be a little longer. Um, but other than that, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the um, Vita real quick. And then from there, once I have the Vita back up, I can explain more about this. So it's on 90% right now. Yeah, 91%. And basically, once it copies over app, we're going to go to the no end PDRM folder, which is in UX0. Because as an early in, in the video, as I stated, um, we are when we originally uh, booted up the game, where we're trying to make the game make the uh, fake riff file. So, oh, it's almost done at 99%. All right, boom. So right now, if you have your game, you copied it to UX0 and you stuck with me, all you gotta do now is go to sys or SEE underscore system and then package. You notice you won't have the work bin in there and I'll show you, that's where I'm gonna show you now how to get it. So go back into UX0 all the way down to no MPDRM, go to license and app um, if you don't know your game title ID, you could just go ahead and verify from GR0. But since I know, and your game may be different, so yours might not say PS CSG00950. I know that's my game because that's the one uh, we just re I recently did, and I could just tell by the date. But from there, you go here and then you copy. You just copy the riff, and then what you want to do now is go ahead and go back to UX0 app find the game that you just was dealing with so mine's is 950 i remember that go to sys or uh, see underscore system and go ahead and go to package and then you want to paste your riff and this was the riff that i was originally trying to talk about on the pc and give you a uh, you know an example for that but now what you want to do is rename it so once you rename it to work dot bin and then what you want to do now is refresh your live area. So once you do that, and once it refreshes, it should say if you have a no NPDRM already installed and you follow the auto plugin, it should basically say refresh to one item. It may take a little second depending how many games you have maybe in your dialogue. It didn't take that long since we're only dealing with one game. Now what you want to do is pop out your cartridge correct and then from there you want to go ahead and Vita shell and then just press reboot on your system now I'm not too sure guys if my Vita will boot right back for OBS to pop up so it may take me a little while to get that all functioning real quick but from there it should basically just pop up like a normal uh, Vita would so 
let me see something real quick so I can get it back on screen. But the, the method I'm trying to show y'all guys is basically once you take your cartridge out, the game is already dumped from your uh, actual system. And then from there, I think, yeah, there go my Vita. So yeah, once the game is already uh, dumped from your system, now you can go ahead and then straight from here, you could just go ahead and load the game. As you could tell from the picture, I don't have my cartridge in. But from there, the game's gonna boot up. And voila, see? So now you could go ahead and play your games off from your memory card instead of your uh, HDD. Hopefully this answers all your questions. Um, If you have any further, you know, things to say about this, leave a comment down in the uh, description. Uh, like I said before, um, if the, I talk too fast, you could go ahead and hit me at my Twitter, which is at Nagato's Revenge, or just in the comment section, and I'll have everything in the description and download links of more further instructions if I went too fast. Uh, thank you once again. My name is Nagato, and I'm signing out.